What's up, what's up everybody? Every time we're streaming and we're in between like doing one thing to another, we pop in dungeons for a couple minutes just while we're getting the next thing that we're supposed to do ready. And then it's always that time. And it's always on an alt too. It's, it's never on the main. It's always on an alt. And it's always at that time that people are like, oh, runes, show runes on this, show runes on that, show runes on that. I'm like, no, you don't want to see the runes on this. The alt account is not. By the way, this is the main account. Jewbagel um, is the main account. It's got the Nian cat that says meow on it. So that's if you're ever curious. The, the people that are like new subscribers uh, probably don't know, but this is the main account. I have six accounts that I use in different videos. I farm on all of them, all six, that's right, every single day. So, uh, but this is the main, it's a huge level of difference in, in, in power and the amount of monsters there are. There's like so many, like so many different things. For it. Anyway, that's besides the point. Today, I want to show you uh, the Giants, Dragons, and Necro teams on the main. These are speed teams. This is not, if you are early game, you're looking for a good starter fast team. This is not what you should be looking for. Uh, there's a dungeon guide that I did. I will leave a link in the description below and in the comments for you guys to see the dungeon guide. That is where I would start. This is more like if you want to get like leaderboard fast kind of runs, then uh, this is going to be... These are, I just want to show you guys the, the, uh, the, the teams that I have on this account. So we have uh, rank 69 in both Dragons and Necro. And then the Giants one, um, I switched over because I didn't really, I wasn't really trying to get top 100. So it's a different team, but we switched over the team. I'll show you the new team. And then we should get much higher with that. But uh, 69, 69 in both the Dragons and Necro. I mean, I wasn't even... I wasn't even trying. I'm not going to complain. Don't knock me down. Don't knock me down. Let's see some let's see some runs though. Okay, so first things first, this is almost the same team. It's not quite the same team. You don't need the Fire Nagami. You don't need the Yaku. Uh, the basic the basic foundation of the team is Lucian, Halia, and Lin. Lucian's there to clear the first and second... No, the first and third waves, right? Uh, the Halia is there to defense break and brand the mid boss and the end boss. And then Lin's going to do big burst single target damage. And then the other two units on the bottom, it doesn't need to be Yaku and the Fire Nagami. It's just you want whatever big burst single target damage. Actually, better than the Fire Nagami is the second awakened Dark Inugami. Even better, you can use uh, things like the Dark Puree. You can use there, you can use a lot of stuff. You can use Brandia. I know people use Brandia. You can use... There's honestly, there's just so many big single target. You could use the Water Twins. Um, so this is just, this is the team that we got the, the record on. We can actually even do it a little bit faster as well. Also, keep in mind that the different transmogs, because some of these are just like just tiny fractions of a second as far as like who's rank whatever. So the transmog animations do make a difference in the in the speed of the runs. Even just a tiny little bit of difference, but sometimes it sometimes it matters. So I'm just letting you know that that is uh that's why it's basically the same thing though. I mean it's the three units on the top are the same and then the two units on the bottom are just big single target burst damage. Let's take a look at the Lucian. Now this Lucian is a speed Lucian for arena offense and this is not this was not built specifically for dragons or giants or anything. This is just I took the Lucian for my arena offense and I stuck him in for uh, I don't even use this Lucian. Funny enough I don't even use this Lucian in arena offense anymore. So um He's just attack, crit damage attack, and uh, sorry, I'll go a little bit slower, but this is just an arena offense solution that I happen to put in, put in there. He's just there to move fast, um, move first and do clear the waves, right? So that's the point of that. Uh, he can clear the waves without attack power buff. So that works nicely. Oh, and then let's do, the, let's do this in chronological order, in, 
in, in order of turn order, right? Turn order. So then we have this uh, attack, crit damage, attack, not even maxed. Would be nice if it was maxed. I. It works like it is, but we actually do need to max all this. So, kind of things that I didn't really... Didn't really realize when when we started doing the video, didn't really realize they weren't max. So, um, yeah, it's just, she's really mostly just there to defense break and brand. Uh, I would like higher accuracy on her, but she's mostly just there to defense break and brand. I think this is even, I think this was for, for R5 is, we we're playing around with her in R5 and it just kept her runes like that. She does not need to be will runes for this. She can be much, she, actually triple fight would be even better. Triple fight, higher accuracy, um, higher crit rate, would be higher attack and crit damage would be more optimal um but even just like this she's mostly just there to defense break and brand because she's the only unit that does a defense break i think she's the only unit that does a defense break and brand. no 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 no. she's not wait is she in the same skill because the dark inugami does defense break and brand but not in the same skill so anyway she's got that um and then we have the lin she's just there for big burst damage attack for damage attack no, well, clearly, we we t we put a lot of effort in maxing all of these, so we could even we could even get higher if we just max the runes and we made it a little bit more efficient. Actually, anytime there's blade runes, if you can get the crit rate in subs, a little bit more crit rate in subs, because you I mean you op you optimally want like 100% crit rate on everything because you don't want it to miss at all, and there's no crit rate buff, so. Optimally, if you if you could get higher crit rate and subs, and you could have a squeeze in extra fight runes, you could do it even faster. You could have an even better team. Uh, this is just look at this, not even skilled up, not even skilled up, right? Uh, this is higher crit rate, nice crit rate. Uh, the Talia does not need accuracy, so I wasn't really too worried about the accuracy here. Attack or damage attack. Uh, she can look at this, could be even grinded. But I don't want to get higher than 69. <laughs> I don't want to get higher than 69. I'm fine where I am. I'm fine where I am. Um, so yeah, she could be even grinded even better. And she's very slow. You just want as much damage as possible on her. If you're going for a speed record, right? If you're going for more reliability, then it's a kind of a different story. Like I said, the dungeon guide, um, I'll leave a link in the description for that. Then we have this one. And she is just on, she's on rate, look, she's not even skilled up either. She's not even max skills. Um, she's just on rage energy. Why is she on energy? It's just because she it had stats on energy. And whenever I ruined her initially, I was like, oh, let me put her on this because that's what I had on her and I never changed her. Great way of doing things, right? Grand <laughs> not, hey, you could squeeze a little bit extra damage and make them faster and more consistent and rise up the ranks and no, you don't want to do that bag of, nah, that, that requires effort. Um, but yeah, a lot of these things like we just ruined when they first came out and didn't really feel the need to change them because they weren't, it wasn't like we, they were lacking in any area. It was just like, oh, well, it works. So don't, don't, don't change it. But um, this would be better if these were on, uh, but I mean, optimally both rage fight actually for this. Uh, and then her on full fight and then her on rage fight as well. And then this on, it actually, he, he doesn't even need to be any of that. He could be um, like rage fight as well. So all of this on rage fight would be, would be optimal. Would give you the, the best, the best uh, amount of damage. Actually, actually full fight on everything would give you the best damage, wouldn't it? Well, I mean, no, no, okay, now we're playing, now we're splitting hairs, but this is the team. Um, so let's go on to the next one. On to Giants B10 Bagel. This is the same thing that you're showing us again. It's a different team than what was in the thing. Okay, so this is the team that we got the best. But, I mean, you see kind of the idea behind it. It's Lucian Halia Lin. It's very... 
It's very straightforward. And then what else do we bring with it? We bring two single target DPS units. The shard was kind of like a thing that was better back when it was five, um, five stages instead of four stages. Added consistency with the extra AoEs. Um, when Lucian fails, uh, like when Lucian just does a single target, uh, Tashar can come in and be like, oh, okay, let me just do the AoE. When Lucian does skill two and he doesn't clear the waves, Tashar can just come in and AoE and be like, oh, okay. So it's pretty, cons it was, it's actually nicely consistently fast, but the faster one is the one that we're going to show you. I'll even to show you the Tashar's runes if you want, or I guess you can't. <laughs> like, can you tell me in the comments below? Let me just show you the Tashar runes anyway. Uh, but you see it's the same thing. It's basically, uh, Lucian, Lin, Halia, and then we have the two single target burst damages, but the Shars also got uh, the big AoE as well, so let's take a look at the runes on all of this. This actually, we need to make some modifications. So, you already know the first three, right? We don't need to go over that again. The Luna is actually like a second Lin. Like, you could just use two Lins for the, or, or any other big, super juicy burst damage dealer. Excuse me, I had a super juicy burp. Um, so anyway, we could just do uh, attack, core damage, attack. Right, right. And of course, because why Because why would we upgrade the runes, right? Why would we max the runes? That seems a bit silly, right? We don't want to like do good at world boss or anything like that. Okay, sarcasm, I'm, 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 uh, I'm giving myself a hard time. Anyway, um, again, rage fight would be the best do the extra damage and higher she absolutely needs higher crit rate i did not realize the crit rate was so low on her so that's something i'm gonna have to change i'm gonna have to re rune this also um this should be full fight so we should we should have squeezed again this is oh you know what this is wait a second this is hp crit damage attack okay so this is wrong she should be attack crit damage attack she should be I think the speed is, the speed seems fine, but this should be attack for damage attack, full fight would be nice, or rage fight would also be good, um, and that's gonna actually give us a better score, this should be rage fight, they should both be way higher crit rate, this should be higher accuracy, this does not need to be HP on slot 2, I do believe that this was for R5. That the reason that some of these are on will runes was for... Well, the reason that Halia and uh, Arang were on will runes is for R5. The reason Lucian's on will runes is for Arena Offense. So that is not necessarily optimal for Giants B10. I just wanted to show you. That's just what they are right now. Um, so we can actually improve that. And this is the runes on the Tashar. He is too fast like this to work. Because he will move before the Defense Breaker. So... He's too fast. His crit rate's good. I wish the other we should make the other things uh, crit rate like that. But uh, he is currently too fast like this to be optimal in that team. So uh, the Orang, though, is going to be super nice. Uh, but she does need to be ruined correctly, which she is not. So again, triple fight or rage fight. Higher crit rate, higher accuracy because she has a defense break as well. And also, one of the things, the nice things is to have this speed tuned optimally like i said triple fight Make, how many times you gotta say triple fight uh triple fight attack for damage attack speed tuned to go right after the halia because she also has a defense break here attack speed attack power defense break um which is nice because then you have if halia misses the uh the defense break on brand then at least you have a rang which can come in and defense break on top of that before your lin and luna come in and do the big burst damage uh, as well. Necro time, and amazingly enough, the team there is the same team as in the clip, Bagel. Oh, finally, finally, it's the same team. Instead of you just explaining it, we can actually see the same team. So, um, the difference here 
for why there's double Talia and double, uh, yeah, double Talia and double Sabrina is the fact that the Lin and the Kabila and the Luna are not as strong here. Or also, well, Yaku actually is strong because he's got the, still the multi-hits. But his skill 2 is only a single target. But the twins attack together, so it's multi-hit, multi-hit, multi-hit. The other ones are not going to be able to break through the shield. So it's very important to, you have to change kind of the strategy on what you're going to use for Necro to get a best time. But but Sabrina and Talia are like everywhere. You could use Sabrina and Talia everywhere anyway. Um, well, may, okay, not everywhere. Not everywhere. But Sabrina and Talia are very strong here because of their ability to multi-hit, but also big burst damage. So the reason, also the reason Shayna, we're not using Shayna is, Shayna does less single target burst damage. The Lucian is still there to, uh, to clear waves one and three. The Shayna will add more reliability to it, uh, but it will not give you, she doesn't have the burst potential uh, of the Sabrina and Natalia's. So, it, it reduces your ability to get a better best time. So anyway, let's take a look at the, like I said, it's the same, the same basic idea, uh, the same Lucian. Uh, and then we have these got these girls are going to be on like some crazy stuff. We saw, we already saw one of those. Here's the second one. Bagel, what is this? It's on a bunch of random stuff. It is on a bunch of random stuff. It's also not, it's also not Max. <laughs> Leaderboards! Top 100, not Max Runes. It's the second ship, Sabrina. But yeah, actually, uh, there's no reason that these shouldn't be Max because we clearly have enough. We have 45 million mana or something like that. So we should have all of these Max, which I'm going to do after the video. Uh, which I could have done now, but I mean, we want to we want to stay at 69. If we Max this, we're going to get higher and we won't be at 69 anymore. So that would bum me out. Uh, no, we will we will max these though. I actually am surprised again that these were not maxed. Uh, and then this one, this is what you want your crit rate to look like. Actually, 100% crit rate is kind of what you want. Uh, attack, crit damage, attack. Shield sets are not bad. I should do that slower. Attack, crit damage, attack. Shield sets are not bad. Um, just in, in well, first off, in Necro, because I think we have three shield sets on here, right? Um, in Necro, and this is the one we saw before, so. Also, some of these are missing skill ups. And not max runes. I actually, I'm really disappointed in myself that I didn't max these runes. Also, I'm really disappointed in myself that some of these crit rates, uh, like, no, not that one. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that one. No, 93 is good. The 65. Although, I, I think I actually don't use her that much. She's only used for Necro, right? I think this is the only place that we're actually using this monster. So, the second Sabrina. But anyway, uh, yeah, we can see they're multi-hitters, big burst damage. Shield sets are good because we're not going to bring a healer. Uh, there's no healer here, so multiple shield sets. And we're just going for mostly stats. We want the, the most amount of stats as possible. More fight runes would have been more optimal instead of... Ally HP is not... Not terrible. I mean, five units. It benefits five different units. But uh, fight would still be better. And I don't think we really need two to three sh shield sets for Necro. I think we sh we could get away with two. Um, we really don't need three, but some people might need. Some people might find the uh, three to be more beneficial. I talk way too much. Anyway, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I just wanted to show like my faster dungeon times on the main. Even though looking at them, I'm like, wow, all of these can be improved. So we can actually probably be way higher on the leaderboards than what we currently are. But I just wanted to show you guys, give you an example of some end game. Uh, dungeon teams again if you're early game or you're like early to mid game you're like I have a two minute team I want to transition into a 20 second team you're like calm down might be better to build make it a little bit safer like not necessarily like go completely YOLO you may not have the room quality you may not have the tower upgrades as well so uh, may not be able to get it consistent at like 30 second times so you might want to do a little bit safer like a little bit safer options here and there but i just want to give you guys some uh some examples of the dungeon time the dungeons that i run uh on my main and the rooms that i have so uh maybe it helps some people because i know there's a bunch of people asking every so often so just thought i would give some uh give some things give some th being given some things since uh 2014 what was it 2014 when did i start the channel i don't know anyway 
Anyway, stop talking, Bagel. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Maybe you got something out of it. I'll see you as always in the next one.